Okay guys, so in this task, we're going to do the uh, copy um, task, that's task 3, and, uh, which is the fourth task, where you said, write a program that copies content of a file to another file. So we want to copy the content of one file, we want to copy it to another file. Simple. Okay, so they didn't give us things to use, but they said, okay, uh, we should have usage should be copy and then file from and then file to that we are copying from this file to this file so we might be using that name so if the number of argument is not correct right then exit with a code 97 and print usage blah blah this file to this file right followed by new line on the poxys poxys standard error that is um your operating system um, interface right okay so um if file to already exists right if this guy is existing it should truncate that it should add to it right and then uh truncation is it that add to it is that add to it or remove from it we'll, we'll get to know all right so if file from does not exist right if file from does not exist that is if this guy does not exist it should give you probably an error so if you cannot read it exit code 98 and print error right so name of the file is the first argument passed to your program okay the first argument is the name of the file if you cannot create it write to file to fails exit so if you cannot create this guy and write to it it fails you should write this error message name of the file is the second argument so this um, file will be the second argument so it is a command line argument right so if you cannot close a file descriptor uh, if you cannot close a file descriptor exit code 100 and print error okay so if you cannot close the fd you should have this guy and then fd value is the value of the file descriptor okay uh, and then uh, permission of the created file so the created file will have this permission i remember how we did that permission we have zero and then the permission i think this one should be six six four something so if the file already exists do not change the permission right so you must read one or two four bytes at a time from the file from so we want to be copying one and 1024 bytes from each file right to make less system calls because we don't want to be picking those content like word by word right if you do that the or uh, the system will have to do so many calling right so many loops would go so if we have like 50,000 words it's going to go up to like 50,000 times but when it's picking it in number of 1024 bytes it will reduce it divide it by 1024 right so uh you should use a buffer and then you you are allowed to use d print f and then we saw what d print f does is still to print to the format uh, output but it collects a um the file descriptor right as well if i if i'm not wrong so if you look at it um they compiled it and then uh let's see they have all these files i think this file will detect one file um, the old file right to test to copy to the new file and all those stuff and um where where did they execute it let's see they execute anywhere yeah this guy is the one executing right it's copying this guy to this guy i think this one okay it's different because this is small letter i capital letter i right um so we now have capital letter i right because they made mention of capital letter i alone and then it exists look at the um, permission why you should think twice okay these are the contents that's copied it inside and that should be all right so basically that's it and
Okay, so I have to be fast because I'm still going to work. So I'll probably when I come back, I'm going to finish the last one. All right, write a program that copies the content of a file to another file, right? So the first thing we'll do is, um, since we are using a main command line argument, right? We don't need to put, it's a main, we don't need to put it in the header file, but because we'll be using some of those um include um system function blah 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 right be using those header files so that has been in our main dot so we'll add that as well so let's just create um the file name three copy dot c right so i'm gonna reload this guy forgotten to reload it uh, Okay. Can you come up? Can you come up? Okay. So let that load and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two functions the command line argument function that's the main right and then one just small function to undo the errors okay so these are the three things I'm going to do because you know betty we don't want our code to be too long so we have to uh, kind of um, separate them in different functions to make it easier right and to make it shorter right so basically that's what we'll be doing in this tax and then i'll be taking you step by step on what to do so let this guy load so cd our alx um, low level ox15 file io right so if i ls i have those my files there so let's delete it and paste the file name right so i'm going to include my main dot h right because we'll be using the main right uh, so i want to include my std standard input output dot h sorry Standard input output each. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to create um, one guy that handles error for me, right? So I'm going to document it as well. So let me just call it an error file, error underscore file, right? And this one is to is to check if a file is opened and undo error I hope this is not too long so we are going to add the file one right i think it is um file file what's it called So it is called file from and file to. So okay, we we'll have our file from. Right, this is the um, initial file to copy from and to check because I want to check if it is open or all those flags, and then we have the file to, which is the destination destination file to copy to right and then we have a return so um, for this one we will not have any return because we just want to use it it's an helper function right so it's going to be void and the name we called it error file right to undo errors for us and then we'll have our parenthesis it's going to collect arguments right so an int file file from right comma int file to comma and then it's going to collect a command line um argument argument vector right so char um v um, this right so um, 
let when we go into the code you see why we need all those these three things right so the first thing is um let me do this so we'll check if far from like if they open far from right and then it returns minus one it means that an error occurred right so if far underscore from underscore from is equal to minus one right so you should do what you should print so we're told what to use right so we are told to use d print f to print right so d print f will collect a file descriptor so we are printing to the standard error so we need to know all these guys i think probably in the last um video i might just check on all the list and see what they do right so we have this comma it will have our um, content that we want to print right so that one will be in quotes right just like the normal print f so we have to print um far from error can't read far from and then the name of far right okay so let me paste that so we don't know what the name of file will be right so we know that it's going to be a string for file percent s right and then a new line as we do so this guy over here will be the one that would undo our um our string our name of file so that's why we have a v which is the string at what index at index one because index zero will be the file and uh, the compilation name and then the first argument will be the file from as you can see this is index zero this is index one this is index two right so we'll put index one so it's going to help us print whatever index one ag one is here as a file name right so it's going to do this and then at the end we should have a semicolon right and then it should exit exit um, 98 right let me let me confirm yeah just want to show exit 98 uh, okay this one is exit 99 okay 97 okay it's different all right 98 so i think we are done with this then we'll go if file to file to is equal to minus one as well like after opening it right give you minus one then we we'll also have almost the same thing and then we'll have our d print f still standard error standard error right and then file number comma so print this error what's going on error right um can't read is it read or write let's see for this one can't write to okay this right the first one is reading and the second one is writing okay so can't one two three four write to so remove this from Can't write to file, right? Let 
me confirm what is there. Can't write to okay, just can't write to uh, the name of her. So, okay, what's wrong with this thing? I think someone is calling me, so I'm gonna need to pause this guy and continue. But let's continue for now. So, can't write to and then file name. So, I'll have my percent S, I'll have my new line, and then I'll add in the string, and then this one will now be tag V at index 2. Right, so this guy should do that, and then we have an error 99, I guess. Right, and that will be all. Right, so that one will undo errors for us. So let's go to the main. So we are going to have a main file, right? So we have a main. So it's going to be main and this one is the to check the codes right or to copy content of a file copy content of a file from one to another so we are going to have our argument C, which is the argument count. We have our argument V, which is the argument vector. And then we have our return. She return. Um, zero and sources okay so we we'll have our in and then we we'll have our mean and then we we'll have this and then we we'll have our ag sorry int and ag c comma and then char pointer v right so we have that and then we have a block of code good so now we'll first do some initialization right so we we'll have um int because we'll be using file from right file from comma file to I'm not sure these names have to be exact, but the thing is when we are calling that function, it knows that it is going to be an int that is going to be at the top that is receiving as a parameter. So these names doesn't really matter. Okay, just for us to um, familiarize ourselves with it. So that's why we're going to use it. Right. And then we are going to have one error guy. I'll call it error close and then we'll know why we're using all these things later. So we have that um, signed uh, integer, right? So size, uh, and then we we'll have this one S. So it can be negative, it can be positive. Okay, so we we'll have N chars, number of characters, right? And number of written one that will be returned. So we we'll have these guys. And then the next thing is we'll have our buffer right and they said our buffer should copy at 1024 at a go right so have that as well and then let's go to the project so let's go to the project okay so we have our if statement and then the first thing we'll say that if our argument count right if we count the argument okay so if you count it this zero one two right so basically we we'll have i think a null here so if so basically it's going to be three right so if our argument count is not equal to three 
then it's going to print an error as we've been told let's see um, let's see ta -ta 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 -ta. error yeah this one if the number of argument is not the correct one exit with code 97 right so this is what we want to first deal with okay so we can just say if that is not the case come down right then we'll use d print f to sorry d print f to deal with that right so we are printing error it means we are printing the standard error right so std error underscore file number right comma and then we can have our string and this one is usage blah 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 file from file. so these guys would have to use um, um okay i think we can use this we can use it's not name of file it's file from our file too, right so if it is name of file i wanted to use percent s percent s and argument one argument two right so it's not so let me end this like this and um i think that will be all let's see mm. Okay. If I to already is a chunket. Okay. So let me see. 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 Okay. I think the best way to do it because this guy will collect three arguments, right? So let me just do it this way. I'll do percent s and then new line, right? Comma. And then this is our string. So I'll put that one in a quotation because it's a string, right? So percent s will collect the string and put it here, right? So I think this will work perfectly. All right. So and then at the end, it should exit 97, I guess, because I think that's the first one. Okay. Good. So normally we are supposed to bring that guy down here, but it's going to be too long, so we have to just truncate it out. Okay, good. So the next thing we're going to do now is um, we we'll then say um, we we'll try and open those files, right? Let's try and open the file one and uh, file from and file two. Okay. So our file from then we will equal to we'll open our file from right file from will be this and then let me put this guy down so we know this guy collects two arguments right um, the name of the file what is the name of the file depending arg v index one for the file from right comma and then um, what do we want to do we want to read right so we want to only um, read only how the only okay so read only we want to read only so enter good so we we'll have file sorry this file from should have this and we we'll have file to and then this one will be okay open so this one would be uh, v index 2 comma and this one we want to do so many things right so the first thing we want to do is we want to first create it if it doesn't 0 o underscore create we want to create it I think create is just C R E A T. We did the other time. And then we want to write into it. So O 
right only right pipe and then we want to truncate i think it is old trunk right we also want to append if possible right and that will be all for that comma right and then um, we want to pass in 664 as our uh, permission for that file that is going to be creating okay so that's that so while opening we want to check the errors okay that is when we call this function that we did here that we wrote that we've written error file right so we'll call the function error file right so what happens is that um we enter let me see it's raining heavily uh, error files so what happens we we'll say error underscore file comma comma right so we will pass the file from that's the first guy this guy will collect right file to comma and add v right so this guy um uh, let's see yes so this guy will collect the two file from our file to the return type if this guy is minus one if this guy is minus one right and then we we'll have our add v which is one or two right so it's going to um, collect that and run the test on it and then it's going to print the respective error right based on whatever we give it to do here at the top so at the top we gave it that okay it's going to collect file one file two and then the command and then this guy right if this file one is minus one later it has return minus one then it's just going to print this guy automatically if this one is minus one it's just going to print this guy automatically right so that is that for this and enter enter okay good so now let's say it now passed that stage and it has opened the files right that's created to this we want to copy what is inside this guy to this guy right so what we do is um, we've used this guy we've used this guy so number of characters right number of characters that we want to print then we'll pass the buffer size to it that we want to be copying it 1024 bytes 1 by 1024 bytes okay then we'll have a while loop and say um while the number of character equals to 1024 right while this thing is true keep on doing this okay so this guy will be copying 1024 1, bytes from the old one we want to be copying into the new one right so that's what we want to do then we'll say n character we'll use it again to collect the return type of read you know read will return uh, the number of bytes it read right so um file we want to read from file from right and what do we want to be copying from we want to be copying from buffer right and how many stop do we want to be copying one or two four right so if this guy sorry uh, I've deleted this guy now. What's wrong? Okay. Let me get it here. My stop is angry. Okay. So if this file, right? Uh, what did I want to explain? Yeah. So.
So this guy will return one or two for right. So maybe it has read it now read maybe less than one or two for it means this guy will read one or less than one or two for. So by the time it comes back here, it is going to be less than one or two for them to exit the loop. I don't know if you get me. Okay. So um what do we do next? So we want to copy. But before that, we'll undo another error. We'll say if it returns minus one, you know, read can return minus one as well. So if enter is equal to minus one, right, then it should print out one error, right? So we can give that error to error file that we created. And this time around, we'll give it the direct parameter. That is, it means that the first file has returned minus one, right? So the first file has returned minus one, and the second file is still probably zero, which means the second file opens successfully, and then um, we'll pass in arg v. Good. Enter. So that is that for this one. So the next thing is we'll check nwr we we'll pass it to write mm -hmm. then we we'll want to write into um file two we've already defined what it's going to be doing so comma we want to be writing from book and we want or two force right i think we are good uh yeah so the next thing we're gonna do is we'll say if that one two returns minus one here then um an error of course right so that's what i want to do i don't know why this is now I hope it doesn't close okay yeah so let me just put the tab here and say error underscore file okay so for this one the first one has opened but this one returned minus one right and then we have our add okay so this one undo it and print the error respectively okay so that is that for that and then the next thing is we will now use the, our last guy standing. Where is it? Error close. So all these things are things that we are told to do. So I might just go through them one more one more time. Uh, I mean from the, the source. So so far we've handled okay, it's still loading. While it's loading, let me continue this guy. So we have our error. E R R Oh my God, I have it all. Okay, I have a call, but um, I have to end the call. I'll call the person back. I've been trying to. Okay. All right. So sorry for the break. I'm so sorry. Very sorry. The person is calling me a normal call. I have to end it. Okay. Um. So the next thing we'll do is we'll check for this person is just stopping. Me. Okay, um, we want to close it, right? So error will close. We'll close file underscore from, right? We want to close it too. Okay, so if the close as well return a negative number, we want to print something. Okay, so if our error close is equal to 
minus one then we want to print something right so we'll use d print f right and then this one will be standard error underscore file number right and then we we'll have this so we we'll have um what are we printing this guy opened okay so um, if you cannot close file descriptor is it code 100 and print can't close file descriptor value right i think this is it so this fd value will be replaced with a percent percent d and a new line and outside you have what percent d will be and what would percent b will be d will be what this guy returned what this guy is right the number of this guy okay and then we we'll exit 100 exit 100 okay so we'll do the same thing we'll close the other one so error close equals to close file to wait are we going to put this guy here yes the person keeps on calling d print f so we have our standard error file number so we have our error percent new line comma and file is two and then exits I think we are good this way. All right. So the next thing is for um, error clues, file number, file two. What else? Um, and then we we'll return zero as we promised. Okay. So what else? Um, this. So we might have some errors that we need to fix. And let's see. So um I'm supposed to go through all these things. I think we've solved this guy. If file to exist truncated, we've done this. Uh, we've done this. 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 Permission, we've done this. You must read return this return this right so let me get the PDCP ID okay mail file right. yeah no ID yes yes please. So let's check again. Okay, so let's come. 
before we compile we have some guys to create which is uh, okay we can compile this guy first and see if we have any error okay we have any error uh, this one is enters this one is let's try to solve this guy because sometimes I didn't even check the line any chance let's see any chance yeah number of characters number of characters I'm just supposed to just delete that S at the top okay let's clear try again okay that's reduced um, we still have it at 49 Still have that one as 49. Error 99 is supposed to be exit 99. Right? Yeah, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Any chance? Yep. Where is that 99 guy? Exit 99, not the 99. Exit 99. Let us check again. Just one. Uh, set to um, use NWR. Didn't I use NWR? Mm. I thought I used it. Let me see. End of your eye. Yeah, use it here. The volume. So it's not unused. We didn't I spell it well? End of your eye. I used it. Yeah, I used it. And then let's see choice. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. If I didn't put the if statement. If and the view out is equal to minus one. Okay, but well, let me bet it to see if I don't have spaces or all these things. Okay, good. So we've compiled it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um, put this guy, create this guy. Those two, then we can execute our command this way. So basically, ls um, less ls dash l in c yes. So you can read, write, 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 but the next one will not be able to do that. So let's just copy this guy and do this. And close f d four really 
that what we have uh, then we have we have some errors because it's supposed to be successful okay so let's see and close fd4 let's check our code cp3 sorry bi3 Mm. Can't close. Is that what we had? Let me just check. Can't uh, close FD4. Can't close FD4. Okay, I think the error should be somewhere around here. Can't close. Yeah, this guy. So it is closing points. Closing points. Closing points. That's what we like. So D prints can't lose FD4. Close file two. D print F. Error can't close FD. So why can't it close it? If error close equals to minus one, D print F. Standard error file number. And then standard error file number error can close FD file two. Exit hundred. I'm trying to see where I went wrong. I can't seem to see anything yet. So I add the error from the top, so then just scroll through from the top. So file number equals to minus one, D print F, standard error. File number, I want to make sure I didn't spell anything. So error um, can't read from this. I'm not sure if this is the problem. 98, E file to equals to one, D print F2. One ninety nine, good. So I think that one is okay. So we we'll have our int, and we have file from file to where is number of characters in the UR buffer set to one or two. So we we'll say if our argument is not equal to three, right? Then D print uh, F standard error file number. Send this and CP file to Exit my seven good. Then far from open at one O R only, that's with only. And then open the second one, which is R2, which creates write only, truncate, append, and six six four. So error files to undo the um, file from a file to and then we have the add b so error close okay okay i think we're correct yes um n char equals to one or two four n char equals to read file from both one and two four if the number of character is minus one right you should write error file minus one zero and e if then nwi equals to file to ball and this one should be number of characters this one should be number of characters okay Error file minus one as B. Error close, close, file from. So let's try this and see if that's the problem. So we'll first compile and then we we'll run it. Can't still open, so let's go back into it. Alright, so number of characters. Add B, 
error close equals close far from if error equals to one. Right? I think there's no if here. That's the problem. Look at look at look at look at there's no if. That's why it's printing with that. So if error close. equal to minus one as well yeah and that is when we should do this look at look at look at look at so we have that and then let's compile okay it's compiled is, is this what's supposed to give me okay yes ls okay ls dash l I this so it is R W R R. Is this what it's supposed to have? Um, yeah, it is that this R W R W R. How come it is now R W R R for me? Must be R W R W R. It cannot be command I gave it. Um, L S dash L I. Yeah, so I think we have to fix that. But it's working a bit, and then let's cut it. So it's work. It's just the um, the permission that that is left. But I gave it six six four. I remember six six four. I don't know. Probably. Uh, right, one one zero, one one zero to uh, yeah, file permission. One one zero, if one one zero is six, one 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 would be seven. So we are correct. So I don't know why this guy is not working for the for this guy. Maybe I, I do I need to append. Let's 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 just um. Let's see if it would um, work. Right. Let's see. So let's git add three. So git commit copy one file from one to another. It's git commit git push. Okay. Um, let's let's just test it. So if you have uh, a problem, then we'll come back to that uh, guy. But majorly, I think it just copied the file permission of the previous one. It didn't set it to this one, right? Wow, it worked so praise God because I know we did the right thing, so yeah, so we'll be left with this guy. So, um, edit work now and come back to it. Write a program that displays the information contained in an elf header at the start of an elf file. Okay, we'll, we'll go through that and see. 